wanna take this chance away from you Making sure that I'm doing my part Oh, is there something you want to do? If you want it, say the word Hello, you guys I'm leaving Kentucky Fried Chicken <laughs> I normally do not eat Kentucky Fried Chicken, y'all. I like Popeyes, but we don't have a Popeyes near my house. What the heck? What is that? Did somebody lose part of their tire? Or what? A piece of clothing? What is that? I don't know, girl, but I ain't about to run over that. I just got done pumping me some gas at the Sam's, um, Sam's Club and... I learned something new about the gas pumps today, y'all. So, let's get into it. It's a little dark, excuse me. Um, can't wait till my little light come, though. Um, oh, baby, get over. Okay, so I um, was in a hurry, and I wanted to hurry up pump my gas, but my husband wants me to pump the 91, which is the higher grade. Well, I was in a hurry and I pushed the 87. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do because my husband wanted me to pump the 81. I mean, the 91. So I asked the guy to come over, nice young man. He came over and he said, well, you got to put the nozzle back into, back into the, the nozzle holder. And then it'll reset. I said, oh, okay. And it did. It reset it. And then I uh, pressed the... Um, pulled the nozzle out and pressed 91 and it worked i said wow because i thought i was gonna have to cancel the whole thing but i didn't so that was pretty cool that was a little tea i learned at the gas pump and um yeah so then i was like right by kentucky fried chicken so i said you know what i just got off work i'm 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 hungry so i'm just gonna get so i got like some tenders and the tender meal i think it was like a number seven it was uh, some tenders and some fries and some coleslaw. My silly butt was getting ready to order tender. I mean, I was getting ready to order. I said tender. Yeah, I was getting ready to order some fries and some mashed potatoes and gravy, y'all. I miss Kentucky Fried Chicken not having green beans no more. They used to have green beans. They used to also, if I'm not mistaken, they used to have broccoli. Because when I was on my help journey and I used to go to restaurants, I broke a nail, y'all, at the pump, y'all. It's a long story. So, but when I was on my help journey, um, I used to try to avoid french fries. So, wherever I went, I used to always try to order a vegetable in place of french fries. So, it would be like a green bean or it would be like a um, broccoli, you know, so I remember them having it, but they said they don't carry it anymore. Now they just carry macaroni and cheese, coleslaw, fries, or mashed potatoes and gravy or corn. I don't know who on this planet chooses to eat corn. I, I'm not a corn eater like that. Like, the only time I like corn is when it's on the cob. I don't like corn off the cob. It's just, mm -mm, I don't like it like that. But yeah, each today, um, I just don't care to eat corn like that. But yeah, so I'm off work. It was, it went well. Um, it went well. Um, yeah. I'm happy to be going home now. And I'm going to sit down and eat. So right now, I just wanted to come in and say, hey, y'all. Hey. I'm so silly. Hey y'all, so I'm on my way home. I may come back in and I may not. This vlog that I'm doing right now is uh, probably going to be a long one. So I'm probably going to end up splitting it up. And you know, that's kind of how I'll probably do it. I'll probably just split it up if it's too long. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Mm, bye for now. All right, you guys. I am home. So I broke my fingernail. Oops. Let me turn you on. I broke my nail because, um, y'all, y'all know I got a new car. I am having trouble trying to figure out. I was having trouble.
I was having trouble trying to figure out how to open up my um, gas. Um, so I had turned. Oh, come on, stop doing that. This tripod is it's giving me hell right now. I don't know. All right, you guys. So sorry about that malfunction. Anyways, I had to, I got to redo my nail now because I couldn't get my gas, my gas cap open on my car. So I, you know, you're supposed to push in in and it's supposed to pop out, but I had turned the car off and I guess you have to leave your car running. So I learned that today too. So I learned about the gas pump. If you press the wrong button, all you got to do is take the nozzle, put it back in the thing, reset it, and then it'll reset. Um, and then I learned that my car has to be running when I open the gas cap. So, yeah, that's little things I'm learning, y'all. Why does it look like my head is cut off? Just little things I'm learning. So, yeah, I y'all... I can't believe this is a synthetic wig. I mean, you can kind of, y'all probably can tell if y'all used to human hair, but synthetic hair has come a long way from like the, the wigs that we used to wear back in the day. Them synthetic wigs back in the day was not the business. Oh, now look at my little bobs. Gang doy, gang doy. Yeah, I don't know. I had a taste really for some chicken. Uh, I was pumping gas and I drove right by. And I was like, mm, I think I'm just going to stop. Yeah, I got to scan my receipt. I said, I'm just going to stop. So. This lemonade is busting. Oh, this lemonade is bussin' bussin'. Oh, y'all, I didn't get turned on to a new gym. They got some fire lemonade. Oh my God. I ain't had no lemonade that dang good in a long time. That was some good stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, y'all. I just wanted to come on and yap some more. So, I don't know what I want to yap about, though. That's the funny thing. I don't know what I want to yap about. So, I'm going to say, girl, why in my last video I was watching and um, I misspelled a word? I, I do that a lot. And I be in a hurry trying to hurry up and get the video out that I don't even be re-looking. Uh -huh. Oh, that's good. This is the the Buffalo Ranch. I ain't never had it before. Buffalo Ranch. Oh, that's good. And then they got the KFC sauce. I don't know what that's all about. I'm about to open that one too. Because I want to try both of them. So, yeah, y'all, I don't be doing nothing, y'all. I don't be doing nothing. I really don't. What I'm about to do, after I get done with this, oh, uh, not bad. They said this one is the same spices that's in they, um, I think they said original chicken spice or something like that. That's the same spices that's in um, the KFC sauce good though so where have y'all been up to what have y'all been up to me not much not much i talked to my dads y'all know i have two dads in my healing journey somewhere y'all see that i have two fathers um I'm, um, I don't know, I'm a, I was born with not knowing who my biological dad is. Um, 
So I have two fathers. One raised me. The other one, I think, is my biological. I have no idea. But I love both of them. Um, blame my mama, not me. Um, anyways, I talked to both of them because one of them, his birthday was the 28th of February. Uh, so I normally don't double dip, you guys, but I will be because it's mine. Um, and I'm not sharing with anybody else. Oh my God, that was powerful. Mm. I'm getting to KFC. I haven't had KFC in so long. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Popeyes came to town, honey. And I said, KFC who? Uh, but... I like Popeyes too, but Popeyes is all the way on the other side of town. Well, it's not far from my job, actually, but it's the opposite way to my home. I, I have to backtrack and all that. I don't like driving. I hate driving, you guys. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. I haven't been up too much. I just want to come in and sit with you guys for a little while. If that's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in my, um, my last video... I was talking about how I wore braces. Well, I wore braces um, from the age of 18, 19, 20, 21, possibly even 22. I used to have a really bad overbite. It was bad. Like, boys used to call me Buck Teeth Beaver. That was the favorite name. They knew I was pretty, though. They would always say, you pretty, but your teeth. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. That was the name, Buck Teeth Beaver. Do y'all feel like this? I feel like I got teased so much in school that... I don't, I want to say I'm immune to it now. It's like water rolling off, rolling off my back now. All right. Insults don't bother me no more. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but. Bullies really do give you tough skin. <laughs> I think my daughter is learning that now. Because for a very long time, well, I think she still is pretty sensitive. I have a sensitive girl. And I wish she wasn't so sensitive. I do. I wish she was a little firecracker like a mama. But she's not. She's my sensitive girl. But yeah. I think that's just so weird, though, how you get teased so much as a child that when people try to do it nowadays, I laugh. That's funny. Like, I guess somebody tried to comment. So it was uh, pretty much like a, like a, what do y'all call them people? Trolls? A troll came into my um, TikTok and uh, was like, you old. <laughs> I know it had to be a child. It had to be a child because I told her, him or her. I said, I'm old. I said, yeah, I'm old. But I got good credit. <laughs> 
He said, he or she said, I don't know what guys see in that. <laughs> I said, you must be a kid. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Credit is something you most definitely better try to establish <laughs> very early. <laughs> If you ever want to buy a home, a car, she would apply for a credit card. These days, even if you want to rent a home or an apartment, they look at your credit. So, yeah, you want to make sure you take care of your credit. Pay them bills on time. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. So, yeah. I ain't doing much, y'all. I got to get my little boy out of his bed and feed him once I get done eating. Because daddy be needing his rest, child. My husband be getting up out of this house so early in the morning. I don't even be bothering him. Sometimes if he feel good enough, he'll help me with Malachi. I didn't even check. No, no, the stuff's still on the counter. He ain't helped me. But sometimes he does. Mm -hmm. I can't believe my baby getting ready to be six. I can't believe my baby getting ready to be 12. <laughs> I ran into a friend, a girlfriend at work, and her she was with her daughters. And one of her daughters was 12. She was tall. I said, oh my God, my baby getting ready to be 12. And you are tall. <laughs> tall and slim. I said, you go, girl. Mm -hmm. No, I ain't been up to nothing lately, y'all. Really, I really haven't. Uh, trying to sort out my life. You know, I was telling my dad, I was, I was uh, just talking to my dad about Malachi and you know how it's just it's a lot. It's mentally it's mentally and physically draining. It's a lot of work, you know. It's a lot of work going to that. And it sucks when you don't have help. It sucks, but I love him. I love him to death. Mm. Yeah, I like how I did my hair this time. I didn't do no baby hair too big. Just kind of just a little one. Just to kind of disguise the lace, you know, kind of hide the lace. And it has a, a, a baby hair built into it. So the more I kept, because I washed this. So the more I kept trying to leave the baby hair uh, as a flyaway, it just, it wasn't doing right. It wasn't trying to do a flyaway. It was just like, no, nope, I want to be laid down. So I just laid it back. I laid it down, but I didn't lay it down real big. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Why people coming to your... Um, be, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think what I'm trying to, I'm trying to say is, I don't know. Yeah, I don't trust people. I don't trust people at all. And people will come into my channel and be like, you know, they'll, um, I've had two people do this already and I don't trust the people. I really don't. And when I check their pages, well, they're volunteering to help me get my YouTube vid. Oh, are you serious? No. Oh my goodness. It is what it is. You know, when you a big booby girl. 
you know, you tend to drop food. That's just what big booby girls do. We draw food on ourselves. But um, anyways, they come in. He they e they email me and they um volunteer to help me get my channel together so it can so it can grow. And I'm like, I don't know you. I don't know you. Let me go on into your shit and try to see who you are. They only have, they don't have no subscribers. They be new to YouTube. They ain't got nothing on their pages. They just following people. Or they just new. Like they just created the page. Like, I don't know about that, friend. I don't know about that. Mm. This is some good sauce. And I'm out. This is the last one. I told her to let me try both of them. I should have said just give me this one. What is this one again? This one is the ranch buffalo. That's some good stuff. That ranch buffalo is, is hitting. What they say? Buffing, buffing. Yeah, so anyways, I don't know about that, friend. I think I'm okay over here. Mm hmm I think my channel's okay. I think I need to just keep doing my... I need to keep doing what I'm doing. Consistency is key. That's what I hear from all the big YouTubers. Consistency, consistency, consistency. So, I think as long as I got consistency, I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right, okay? Um, if it's meant for me to grow on this platform, I will grow. Mm-hmm. That's how I see it. Okay? I really ain't even going to hurt. Because y'all, them big YouTubers, boy, they... Got a lot going on. They is busy, honey. They busy in their lives, honey. Mm -hmm. They is busy. Mm -hmm. It's like what I was saying earlier, never envy somebody life. Never envy. Because you don't know what they got going on. You know? You can be the most famous person or the most richest person in the world. But you still got things going on in your life. Just like everybody else. I mean, all it is is that you just ain't hurting for money no more. But you still psychologically... I'm dealing with the same pressures of life, just like us all. You can go get plastic surgery. You can fix your body. Now, I'm talking about myself, too. I ain't talking about, I ain't just bringing up other people. I'm talking about myself, too. I mean, but you got to fix what's inside of you in order for, you know, everything else to kind of fall into place. You got to constantly keep rebuilding and fixing the person inside of you so that you can be the best person that you can be. You know, so many people think about the outer appearance in life. I'm one of them. You know, the outer appearance is so important to me. How I look and how I present myself. That's very important, but to me, it's very important, but it's really not. What's important is how you treat people and how people treat you. And people, I to, Pretty much, I think if you treat people with kindness, you'll receive kindness. That's how I look at it. 
But yeah, I'm just rumbling, rumbling, rumbling. Mm -hmm. And I want people to realize that just because just because you like somebody or you follow somebody don't mean I want anything from them. <laughs> it don't. I don't know. I just like being entertained. And, well, I learn. I learned a lot about this platform by watching people. It's kind of like studying, educating yourself. But, yeah. It's nice. I like YouTube. I like YouTube. And editing, the more I do it, the more comfortable I'm getting with it. Oh, man, I'm putting... Yeah, I'm starting to get a little more relaxed and comfortable with the editing process. Mm. It used to be hard. I used to be ready to throw my phone. I've deleted content. Like me and my husband had a beautiful date night one time. He took me out. Where did we go? I think we went to Chili's. Had a good time. And then we went to the movies. I had recorded it all. And yeah, ended up deleting the, all the footage. Mm -mm. That's a lot going to YouTube, y'all. A lot. People want to wake up and say, oh, I think I can do it. I did too, friend. I did too. I didn't know what I was uh, getting into, though. I had no idea. What I was actually getting into until I got my feet wet. And it's a lot. Mm. When I'm done with the good stuff, now I just got the coleslaw. I think I'm just going to give the coleslaw to my husband. And I'm going to get this biscuit to my husband. I don't eat, I don't eat biscuits. I don't eat biscuits. I don't eat hush puppies. I don't eat... Cornbread. I don't like that kind of stuff. It's just not appetizing to me. Ugh, I'm full. I am so stuffed. So, you guys, if you like me hanging out with you, give me some topics to talk about. And I can sit here and do this all day. No. One thing y'all need to know about me is that I over-exaggerate time and numbers so i'll be like you taking a thousand years my husband be like i ain't took no thousand years <laughs> or i'll be like i, I just over exaggerate now you kind of get what i'm saying i just over exaggerated you know you didn't say that a thousand times already he be like I ain't said that a thousand times. <laughs> Exaggeration. I do it a lot, girl. I do it a lot. Well, I'm very, very sleepy. Um, I did a lot of walking tonight at work. A lot of walking. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, do what makes you happy until next time. What was I trying to say? What was I trying to say, guys? 
I was trying to say, please like, please comment, please subscribe if you want to see more of me. Um, feel free to share my videos, any of them, if you want to support me. Um, thumbs, um, hit that notification bell. I love this hair. Hit my notif hit that notification bell so that you could be <sighs> so that you could be notified whenever I upload a video. And do what makes you happy until next time. Bye for now. I'm gonna hold you in my arm, I just wanna take the stress away from you